welcome to Milwaukee Train Fest 2014. I'm gonna do things a little differently than I usually do on coverage of these train shows at different locations. Since we just had the National Train Show back at Cleveland a few months ago, I'll just be trying to focus on newer products or products that have been announced since Cleveland, which was just in July. So with that said, let's get started with coverage of Milwaukee Train Fest. I have here is presenting the second annual People's Choice Award. This is the only award of its kind that's given by the people to a manufacturer. This year's contest was about sound. Surprisingly, after many recounts to make sure I had it correct, just to be sure, ESU is the winner. I only say surprisingly because ESU and Lock, Lock Sound, I should say, has only been really out there in the last few years to the point to where people are taking notice. It's really gaining momentum. We're seeing excellent sound from these guys. This guy right here and his team, I don't want to say it's just him. He's got a good support team, but he works his butt off to provide you guys with some great sounds. You see the sounds in the Intermountain ES44 AC, the River Aussie products, just to name a few. And it's great sound and it's being noticed even by the viewers to see how things are coming out of this hobby, and new things are just emerging as major players in the market. And to have this award to a company that is just making great products, it's just a great thing. It makes it puts a smile on my face to be able to present this award to you, Matt. So Matt Herman from ESU, on behalf of JLWII 2000, all my viewers, congratulations, the second annual People's Choice Award is yours. Thanks, James. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, as James says, I mean, it's definitely not just me by any means. I've got a great team behind me, not only here in the United States, but also in Germany. We've got, uh, you know, I still say the best sound editor in the world, so he's doing a lot of the work himself. But, you know, we really take a lot of pride in going out and, and making sure that the sounds that we're doing especially are, are to the T exactly correct. You know, we want to make sure it's exactly to the prototype. We don't like doing generic sounds and say, oh, we have a 567. Now we've got a 567 and a 16 cylinder, a 12 cylinder, an 8 cylinder, a 6 cylinder. We want to make sure we're as specific to the prototype as we can. And, you know, we work really hard to make sure that that happens. So that plus a, a great product, you know, with the, the low sound, the low pilot decoders, the command stations and everything that we're doing. I've got such a great team of engineers in Germany that if this stuff didn't run well, it wouldn't really matter what it sounds like. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really appreciative that you are such a great company. So, certainly not me, it's everybody behind me. Well, just to have the decoder control, the speed control you have, and the sound, it's amazing. I hope people take notice. I've had a lot of feedback about how nice these sound, how nice they operate. Just a great product from top to bottom. We're at the Intermountain booth here and we've got the 7964 5000 Givo unit and this thing is pretty cool looking. It's going to be a little different shade of blue when it comes out. That's the only new thing I see at Intermountain. It's different from Nationals. But that is what's new here at the Intermountain. Couple things I want to show you. This is the in scale cold train. It's going to be released, and uh, these are the reefers. It's going to be sound equipped and in scale. So that's an announcement from Athern that's recent since the National Train Show. I know I try to limit this to just the announcements from the National Train Show since the National Train Show, but I also have uh, sorry, so the SD70M here. Flared radiators still due for release late December, uh, may slip into January. You've got the Electromotive demos, blue one just released here, still waiting on that yellow Caterpillar unit. 
some other releases from Atherin coming along. You've got the MT4s over here, the F units, which I will be reviewing eventually, MT4s there. So lots of good stuff to see from Atherin here at the Atherin booth. Exact Rail, and they have a new announcement. It's the Big John Hopper. This is the Magger 4948 Hopper. You can see them right here. Or Magor, not Magger, but anyway, Big John Hopper, available on some different road names, Seaboard, Southern. So pretty cool models. Nice metallic appearance on these hoppers and as always the detail you expect from Xactro. We're here at Moondog Rail Cars, part of Train Fest 2014. We've got some interesting products, some detailed products. These pieces here that go on top of the auto racks, these metal panels, they're called Vandal Guards. And they basically are detailed pieces that you can add to your auto racks. So it's pretty cool, some of the work they're doing. Also, for those of you who like uh, modeling, Locomotives that have caught on fire, got, got a good burn going on. They've got decals for the burn. Things like that that turn all the weathering nightmares into decals, so it's a little easier to model and handle. There's some burned out Southern Pacific locos. And then, they, of course, they've got their pipe loads and some of their other weathering that they do. A lot of great work uh, from Moondog Road Cars, so I just wanted to show you guys some of their product as well. Here at the North American Rail Car Corporation, they've got some very nice rolling stock coming out. We've got the National Steel Cart Potash Service, a 4275 cubic foot three bay hopper. Here's like an early prototype version here of this car. There's six different variations. Only available through Pacific Western Rail System, pwrs.ca. Be sure to visit them, check out their uh, Porter system. It's pretty unique, pretty organized, just one of the best organized systems I've ever seen as far as ordering goes, or the best. So be sure to check them out there. We will have to do a Porter's update later on on how that Porter stuff works. Also, if you have already ordered the Saskatchewan unit in December, is what they're looking at. You know, everything's possibly subject to delay, but December is their expected uh, release date for these Saskatchewan units from the North American Rail Car Corporation. So again, there's the website, pwrs.ca. Be sure to check them out.
here at Bowser Trains with some very cool products. First thing we'll talk about is the Bowser SD40-2. So we got a class light video here. Uh, it's green on now. Now they've got red on. There's the green. The white. So you got three different pairs of class lights on this locomotive, this new SD40-2 from Bowser. <clears throat> so that's pretty amazing. Probably the first time in the industry, I, I almost guarantee first time in the industry that's been done. So it's a pretty cool feature of this new Bowser locomotive. So here at Bowser we have the C636. Now this is gonna be a re-release. There were a couple of issues with the fuel tank and the height of the deck. Height of the deck on the last run and Lee English, head of Bowser, one of the few manufacturers I see that kind of takes a mistake by charge, they're gonna be redoing this with the corrected parts. And also for anybody that doesn't know, they'll be offering the corrected parts to folks separately for those who have purchased the first run. So that's the C636. Here's the C628. So all you see all the variations of that, Conrail, Le Lehigh Valley, Chicago Northwestern, Monon and Norfolk and Western and also uh, Canadian, or CR down at the bottom, the Canadian Rail, or Conrail Patch. Oh, Conrail Patch, sorry. I'm so bad on older stuff. <laughs> then over here, you have the C430, and lots of uh, variations of that as well. So lots of products coming out from Bowser Trains. Be sure to check them out, bowsertrains.com, bowser-trains.com. models we've got the 8,000 gallon acid tank car here for sale and this is a tank car that came out shortly after World War II this is a Stouffer chemicals version you can see the intricate detail the etched metal walkways just how everything's well done and I'll have to get some reviews of this tangent stuff out to you guys in the future this is the 70s version of that tank car. Again, an 8,000 gallon acid tank car. Ran until the early 90s. So yet another variation of this tank car from Tangent Scale Models. What's the uh, MSRP on these? 44.95. 44.95 MSRP on these cars. Hey guys, we're having fun at Train Fest here in Milwaukee, 2014. Got a couple guys with me. What's your name again? Vanda. Uh, Twiggy BNSF on YouTube. Yep, Twiggy BNSF on YouTube. Check him out. Your name? I'm Trent. I don't have a YouTube, but I'm a big fan. Trent, a big fan. So I want to give these two guys a shout out. They're always giving me shout outs, so it's my turn to return them. Thanks, guys, for watching. We're here at Train Fest. We'll continue coverage of full new products announced here at the show. Take care. train show they've just announced recently the diesel wow sounds let's take a listen to the bell and horn and some of the motor background noise and my 5.1 surround mic doesn't work so well but if uh, you could hear that it's pretty good sound from the wild sound folk here at TCS
guys here at Woodland Scenics. We got the just plugged lighting system available here. This is a new product announcement uh, in the last couple months. What it is is easy plug and play. Everything is plug and play. As you can see on the diagrams here, you plug in the power supply, you plug in each of these light bulbs, and you can control the intensity on one through four different lighting functions per light hub. Easy plug and play work. There's no soldering required. You've got a power switch. Everything's plug and play. I think I said that too many times in one video. It's a pretty cool product from Woodland Scenics. So be sure to check that out if you're into lighting your structures and kits on your layout. Yeah. trains and one of the neat things that they are coming out with is this easy app wireless train control and got some questions from you guys about how this works basically there's going to be a Bluetooth receiver installed in some of their locomotives in the future at a starting point and then you can purchase the locomotives equipped with this Bluetooth thing down the road then no matter what track you settled on as long as it's got power it will then have an app on beginning with Apple products, eventually Android will be incorporated. This app will be able to run locomotives. Is that that seaboard right there? It's oh, New York, New York Central. So we got a New York Central here. And we're gonna turn this on. He's gonna start it up. And there it goes. So it's Bluetooth wireless control, already equipped in the locomotives in the now this hasn't happened yet, this is uh, patent pending, it's in the future, but you won't need to have to have a DCC installed locomotive. You'll be able to take your locomotive to anybody's layout with your iPad or Android device. Again, starting with Apple, eventually Android, and be able to run your locomotives. I think it's really cool technology. It's gonna make things a lot easier, especially for those that like to travel around or run off of their iPads. You know, these iPads are three, four, five hundred dollar devices, sometimes more. Might as well use them for what they're worth. So pretty cool product from Bachman. So here we've got some new products from Bachman also coming out. Now, everything I'm showing you guys in today's coverage is going to be anything that was announced since the National Train Show. So what we have here are some structures. These are actual real structures that are seen around America, the Castle Car Wash being one of them. All of these are actual structures, this Tut Hut souvenirs. Pretty cool things for your layout. So be sure to check them out uh, coming out here from Bachman. So what we have here is Williams by Bachman has some easy street stuff they're putting out. This is also a new announcement from the National Train Show. Uh, since the National Train Show. So they've got Easy Street. This is kind of a setup. Uh, it comes with the car and it has its own power. I told them I'd like to eventually see some incorporation with you know, actual trains. But it's a pretty cool thing. I don't know if they're considering that or not. They've got some Easy Street remote turnouts here. So lots of cool products uh, new from Bachman since the National Train Show. So we're in building two of Milwaukee Train Fest. This is the first year that there's been a second building added. 
They uh, allowed more space in the main building. I think everything could have fit. In the main building, they may have just added more to space things out better. I'm not sure if it's larger than last year, but it is in two separate buildings now, more, more square footage, five football fields all together. So lots of things to see, uh, layouts. And up our visit here to West Allis, Wisconsin to the 2014 Train Fest. We'll catch you guys next time right here on my channel. I hope you enjoyed some of the sights and sounds of the train show. Again, not a traditional sense, just not a traditional coverage of a train show. I just wanted to cover some of the new things uh, that manufacturers had come out and a couple things here and there for you, give you a general idea how things work. One thing to note, this year's Train Fest was expanded to two buildings. It's a trolley that operates between the two. They don't get charged any extra to ride the trolley, but that's about the only thing that changed from last year. Not a whole lot announced, but uh, what was announced that I could find, I did go ahead and cover for you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.